the first film was obviously a huge worldwide phenomenon, um, successful with both trekkers and newcomers alike. What was it about the script for Into Darkness that sort of drew you in? I think you get all the best lines for one thing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, what drew me in, I think, was um, the development of the characters. Um, you know, the first film was about establishing all these characters, and this one we kind of really hit the ground running. And uh, those relationships, particularly um, Kirk and Spock, uh, are, are deepened. And um, it, it always seemed to me that this script had a real emotional heart to it, and, and I think that's one of the reasons why it's um, so well received. And what were you particularly excited about exploring with Bones this time around? Uh, I was just really kind of looking forward to... Um, you know, continuing that uh, uh, that journey and, and continuing to develop that that humour, uh, and that's for me uh, that's a huge draw to the character. You know, I've, I've done a lot of films that have sort of where my characters are sort of based in in action. Uh, and it's nice to play a character who's sort of a bit more based in comedy. You certainly got a lot of laughs for your lines at the screening that I was at. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, and how would you describe that experience of stepping back several years later, um, you know, aboard the Enterprise again, back in costume? What, mm -hmm. what was that like? No doubt, it was surreal. It was very surreal. Uh, you know, everyone's wearing the same costumes, with the same extras, same crew. Uh, and I, I mean, I literally felt like Obama was about to be elected for the first time. Uh, but you know, once we kind of got past that, I only took a shot, and we were all in, you know, back into it, and really kind of everyone just sort of picked up where we left off, and laughing our way through, working hard, playing hard. Of course, there's a new foe this time around in the shape of John Harrison. John um, Harrison, the most formidable member of the Beatles. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> and how formidable a villain is he? And um, what did you admire about Benedict's portrayal, Benedict Cumberbatch? Uh, Benedict is incredible, um, incredibly talented. Um, and, you know, the, the scary thing about his character, first of all, is that he's just that much better uh, than everybody else. Um, secondly, you can empathise with his character. You can see why he's doing what he's doing. Um, while you don't agree with his methods, um, you can understand them, and I think that's also what makes him compelling, interesting, and so dangerous. And J.J. Abrams, of course, worked his magic on um, Star Trek. Mm -hmm. He's about to do the same with Star Wars. Yeah. Why, to your mind, is he perhaps the, mo the most in-demand sort of filmmaker in Hollywood at the moment? Uh, I think that J.J. is so in-demand because he invigorates his film with a, um, a dynamism and an energy, and he gets character. You know, he really... Uh, he, he knows how to give heart to a story and he knows how to deliver big action. I mean, this sequence in this film where the Enterprise is crashing through the, the Van der Allen belt, uh, it's extraordinary. Um, but what drives this movie is the characters and it's got real heart and that's just a testament to JJ. Carl Evan, pleasure. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.